Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on distal femur fracture. Distal femur fractures are fractures extending from the distal metaphyseal diaphyseal junction of the femur to the articular surface of the femoral condyles. They account for around 3-6% of femur fractures. It can be classified into three types. Type A, extraarticular. Type B, partial articular and type C, complete articular. Clinical features. Patients commonly present following a fall or a traumatic injury. They will complain of severe pain in the distal thigh and an inability to weight bear. On examination, there may be an obvious deformity, with associated swelling and echemosis of the distal thigh. If the fracture extends intra-articular, then a knee effusion may be present. For investigations. Urgent bloods, including a coagulation and group and save, should be sent. If a pathological cause is suspected, further workup bloods, such as a serum calcium and myeloma screen, may be warranted. For imaging, antero-posterior and lateral plane film radiographs of the knee and entire femur should be requested. If there is any intra-articular extension, then CT imaging is helpful to evaluate intra-articular involvement. These are some X-ray pictures. Picture A shows lateral view, picture B shows a P-view, of a left-sided distal femur fracture. For management, any significant malalignment of the fracture will warrant initial realignment in A and E, with analgesia or sedation, and then immobilized using skin traction. The majority of distal femur fractures are managed surgically. The mainstay of surgical management for distal femur fractures is retrograde nailing or open reduction internal fixation. Retrograde intramedullary nailing is indicated in more proximal extra-articular fractures, or simple intra-articular fractures. Whilst an ORIF with a distal femoral plate is often indicated for more distal fractures, or complex intra-articular fractures. In certain cases, external fixation may be used in severe comminuted or open fractures. Complications include malunion, nonunion, and secondary osteoarthritis. That's all for this video. Thank you.